Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. Four simple reasons why I believe the way I believe, why I believe in God and I believe His Word. Number one, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. Verse 20, for the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead so they are without excuse. These verses actually give my first two points. One is that God puts it in us. It's innate. It's within our system. God puts it in man to know and believe him. Man has to actually fight against their own conscience in order to deny God. And number two is creation. Creation shows God's power, his omnipotence. It's it's a wonder that the things that are around us exist. And we can't think because of the natural way of things that we understand today that th intelligent things don't come from non-intelligence. Things don't appear by just uh, time and chance. No, there has to be a designer, there has to be a creator. And it would be totally illogical to think otherwise. Which brings me to my third point. It's logical. It just makes sense. It kind of fits in the natural way of things, doesn't it? Anything for us to have, if we want to produce a, a, a chair or a house, it has to be designed and then put together with materials that exist. Well, God put together everything out of nothing. And maybe that's the hard part to believe, that God uh, always existed and yet he created things out of nothing. Of course, the Big Bang says the same thing, that out of nothing it banged, and it would warrant the question of where did the nothing come from? And so it just, between God putting it in us, creation itself, it making sense and being logical, and number four, faith in his word. I, I believe God's word. <laughs> That's why I named this channel Believe the Bible. And I can't see any errors, mistakes, or inconsistencies with it. Yes, I know there's many contradictions, but a contradiction is not an error. The Levitical law said you can't eat certain foods, but Paul said you could eat anything you want. That is a contradiction. But it's only a contradiction in and of itself. But when you look at it from a time perspective, under the law, that's what you're supposed to do. When Paul says we're not under the law, then it's something that we don't have to do. And then it makes sense, even though it's a contradiction. It fits. That's how we can reconcile God's word. And we reconcile it by rightly dividing it, as he says in 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved under God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Study, don't be ashamed, be a workman and make sure it's done rightly divided. Thank you for your time. You have a great day. What are the reasons that you believe in God and His Word? Someone were to ask you, what would your answer be?